Hi, Director of Instruction at Sankety Head Golf Club, Jennifer Hudson here, and owner of Lifelong Golf. I have Mark Blackburn, PGA Tour Coach, with me at Sankety Head today. Mark, how you doing? Awesome, glad to be here. It's a beautiful day here in Nantucket. Gonna help you, I believe. Yes, I'm having this terrible problem where currently I'm kind of hitting my irons a bit thin. I feel like maybe just a little sweepy through the shot, so hoping you can help me out. All right, well, let's take a look. Let's see, uh, let's see what Jennifer's got. Okay. Yeah, it's just not quite right. Certainly thin. Okay, so when folks are struggling with their contact with the irons, we know definitely advantageous to slightly pinch the ball against the turf. And here, Jennifer's trail shoulder is very much behind her and her head's kind of backing up. So we have this adage of keep your head still. We actually want to move slightly more towards the target so Jennifer can actually get her right shoulder more on top of the golf ball. That's certainly going to allow her to pinch the ball against the turf and really help her get better contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up. Jennifer's actually going to set up to one of these balls and I'm going to have her try and imagine that you're going to pinch the ball against the turf and drive it under my foot. Please don't hit it. I don't need to break my foot, but I want you to turn to the top and then I really want you to feel like this right shoulder is getting more down and forwards and you're going to push the ball and pinch it so it gets under my foot. So now do you see how you're in a different delivery? This right shoulder is a lot more forwards. Your head is more towards the target. So that's what we're going to try and create as a sensation. So a lot of times, if you're trying to get the ball up in the air and elevate it, that's when now all of a sudden our torso tilts back, the trail shoulder gets down, and then we got that thin shot because the club's ascending. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the sensation of driving the ball under my foot, and then we're going to have an abbreviated follow through. So we're only going to swing to where our arms are basically straight and extended. If you look at great iron players, they really have that delivery where they're covering and squeezing the ball and through the hit, the lead arm and the club are still lined up. Much better. Let's try that one more time. So you're going to drive it under my foot to impact. So you're going to turn back, drive under to my foot. Beautiful. And then from here, you're going to feel like you finish in this position. Okay. Okay. We're not worried here. The goal from a drill is to really try and cover with the right shoulder and pinch the ball and have an abbreviated finish. It's going to be a lot more flighted shot. Really useful for getting that strike compression we need for good iron shots. Excellent. So let's see it. There we go. Better. Not thin. I think you can do better than that. Let's do one We're more. In the middle let's of the ball. This one's going to the bottom. Let's, let's get the abbreviated follow through. So you're only going to come through to here. I want to really saw that finish off. Better. All right, let's try one more. We've got plenty of tight lists. Don't worry. To really exaggerate. Much better. So you see how the one that was the shortest had the least amount of curve, had the best noise. So if you can really try and cover the ball with that right shoulder and abbreviate that finish, you're going to take this sort of flippy delivery, you're going to be able to cover it a lot more. Because when you back up, you're always going to have to have a little bit of this to hit the golf ball. So if you want nice contact, get rid of those thins, we're going to get our torso covering the ball and really try and feel like we maintain these angles through the ball. If you can do that, Jennifer, you'll stop hitting those thin shots. That's awesome, Mark. I really appreciate it. I got to tell you that when I practice, one of the things I love to do is create feels, and it feels a lot like if I just had the club on the ground, I'd be pressing the shaft down through the grass a little bit longer. Is love that, that. Spot on. Fantastic. Absolutely. If you get those cues, you'll be able to get, eliminate those thin shots and hit those nice, compressed, strong irons. That's awesome. Thanks, Mark, so much for the help. You got it. Again, Jennifer Hudson, Director of Instruction at Sankety Head Golf Club, here with Mark Blackburn, PGA Tour Coach and Blackburn Golf Academy in Birmingham, Alabama.